Do you think it takes more energy to be anxious or to be calm? I think the answer's got to be obvious, right? It takes far more energy to be anxious than it does to be calm. And yet, and I know this is going to sound a bit strange, we make choices to be anxious. And when I say that, what I really mean is we don't make choices to be calm. We somehow accept that anxiety is the natural state of things and that's what we have to live with. But of course it's not. With anxiety, your cognitive system, your brain, your mind is captured by the overestimation and catastrophization of the meaning of physical symptoms, physical signs and symptoms. You focus your attention on that and it seems to wind the whole process up so that in the end you feel worse. But here's the thing, you're actually opting to use more energy. Now I'm suggesting that you opt to save energy. If you save energy, you have more energy for other things. But I know you're not consciously opting to use up energy and anxiety, but that's what you're doing. So why not make a conscious decision to actually conserve energy, conserve your energy and put it to uses that you would find more productive in your life.